at the end of July 2019, the Fortnite World Cup broke all kinds of records. Obviously, it had an obnoxiously high prize pool of $30 million. But on top of that, it set a record as the most watched esports event of all time. The journey that saw Booga win 3 million bucks had intrigued audiences around the world. However, that viewership record wouldn't last to the end of the year. The 2019 League of Legends World Championship stole away that record. It all started in the quarterfinals as severe underdog Splice went up against SK Telecom T1. Even though everyone expected a one-sided affair, the round of eight match drew massive views. With the tournament taking place in Europe, the time zone appealed to both Western and Eastern audiences. And of course, whenever Faker's playing, the views always get a nice little boost. The very next week, the record was absolutely trounced. The semifinals between G2 Esports and SK Telecom peaked at just under 4 million viewers. The storyline for this series was undeniable. G2 was the best team to ever come out of Europe. They had previously beaten SKT at MSI and were one series away from making it to the finals. SKT were looking for redemption from their MSI loss and hadn't won World since 2016. The collision of these two powerhouses drew a lot of excitement and it exploded into an excellent series. Right from the opening game, G2 and SKT were evenly matched. SKT jumped out ahead early but G2 found a way to hold on and win close fights. Eventually, the European squad gave the Spanish fans a lot to cheer about. Capscom, 7k, X -flashing. X -flashing over the wall, effort arrow is going to come in, Faker is going to be on the backside. this pop loss will be massive if they can find it, that's a CD, that's a follow up, Teddy into the backside. Faker now coming in, he's going to slow a lot of members, but Faker's still alive, Caps is still alive, Pop Blossom will only collect on one, and Wonder is still living, G2 are coming out on top of the fight for now, but a beautiful body slam will yes. not be enough, they're in the pinch, that is not where you want to be against Desire, and SKT have got Left in this game one. As G2 won the opening game, the possibility of them making the finals became that much more realistic. Although Europe's hopes were rising, SKT quickly showed the world that they wouldn't go quietly. As game two grew into the later stages, SKT were in control, but once again, G2 was grasping for life. They need to shred through this one, then get something done. There's no Yasuo there to body block. The cast comes oh, out. He stole it. I can't believe it in the moment where it matters most to Teddy now instantly has backline access. Disaster strikes for G2, but the Galio is now coming in. He wants to turn it, but everyone is dead as Mickey hits the ground. Everyone on his team drops. It is a clean fight for SKT. This time their efforts would fall short. The series was all knotted up at one, and the drama continued to intensify as game three unfolded. 30 minutes in, and neither team could pull away. Once again, the game was decided at a scuffle around a major objective. The full 5v5, the combat sums of G2 will be in their favor. Big shockwave set up. They put themselves in the pit. That could be everything. Faker, it will be the guaranteed knockup. Caps moving in, looking for the perfect shockwave. The Baron will go down, but can G2 find the fight? Caps instantly taken out. The cleanse will not be enough. No, Caps alive on the backside, doing what he can. A sliver of life left, yet still keeping his team alive. And Faker and Khan are on the retreat as G2 push in. The hook shot, the wall dive. They will manage to make it out. Khan trying to delete Wonder. They're going to get one back. It's such a close fight. With G2 on game point, the viewership would reach its peak. Caps had a chance to make back to back finals and G2 could eliminate the Korean powerhouses. With all this on the line and Faker playing well below his best, 3.9 million people tuned in to watch the conclusion of the series. Bates it out though, Clint had to go up into the air and it doesn't matter if he messed it up because Clint is still gonna go down, but Khan, right to the backside, Caps goes golden, there's no one else to follow up, Khan's damage doesn't matter. But the ulti comes out in such a close exchange for now they're winning, but Perks is coming in. This is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of team, this could be the game. He gets the fight moment. Faker is gone. Teddy's next on the list. There's no way he can duel Yasuo. Amad is coming in, but he's just walking into the meat grinder of Perks. Khan, can he do it? Perks. They've done it. They've done it. They're gonna win. G2. Khan, can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir. They can't do it. This is it. The greatest team in the history of League of Legends taken down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced. G2's dramatic win over SKT shattered the record for the most watched esports event of all time. The Fortnite World Cup reached 2.3 million viewers and this semi-final greatly exceeded that. Although G2 would fall short in the finals, their run was heard around the world and their series against SKT will forever go down in history.